So, so guys, have you ever went to a game store? Have you ever went to a GameStop, a Target, or a any of those stores? And have you ever, what do you call it? Have you ever saw a video game, right? You, have you ever saw a video game? And it was on clearance and it was for a buck or two. Now, sometimes you could buy games like GTA, Kirby, Mario, all those good games at a very cheap price. And you get them for free, right? Well, let's just see the cover of Barry Hatter. Here's Barry Hatter and his Billy the Wizard Rocket Broom Racing. Woo! Anyway, so... When we look at this already, it, 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 it looks pretty horrible. I mean, it really doesn't look too good. And, uh, anyway, over one dollars. Anyway, uh, let's go see. Look. Anyway, I'll go read the description. Grab your wizard hat, hop on a broom, stick. <laughs> Barry had her to present a Anyway. I'll read it more accurately. Grab your wizard hat, hop on a broomstick, and join Barry Hatter and friends in an adventure beyond belief. Anyway, I don't know what they're trying to rip off here. Are they trying to rip off Mario Kart, Diddy Kong Racing, or even Perry Hatter? Um, nonetheless, what they're ripping off here, the game is a horrible ripoff of all three. But, so, overall, go buy it at your own risk. But, to save you from the hell that I went through, I shall go and re re uh, record the game for you and show you how horrible this um, Mario ripoff is. Um, because it, it, it really is horrible. It, it's not a good game, and I'm, I'm going to try to be more positive in this video, but... There really is no redeeming factor that would make me to believe uh, that this game is a good game. So, anyway, you need a nunchuck, which that's the root of the problem, because, I mean, come on. You're not, you, you don't play a, uh, you don't play a, you don't play a game like this with a nunchuck. You don't play a racing game with a nunchuck. Maybe except for Mario Kart, but... You, you play with a, one of those wee wheels. That's how you play a racing game. You don't play it with a nunchuck. A very few game, very few racing games work with a nunchuck. It, it just, it's, it, it doesn't work. It, it just doesn't. Anyway, the actual, that actually looks pretty cool. You could probably use it for a scene, but oh my god, these graphics. I mean, I'm not, tr I'm not trying to judge a book by its cover, but not for nothing. You must admit these graphics look like something that would come out of the 64 age. I mean, you gotta be kidding me, right? This is the 6th, I believe, if I'm correct, 6th generation of gaming systems. Um, this isn't the NES days, neither is this the Genesis days. This is the uh, Nintendo days. So, the point is to... Make it kind of look like it's from the not it's from uh, the uh, 2009 or something. Not to make it look like it's from 1999 or the 200 or 200. So anyway, let's go and begin. And from the start, we can already see the root of the problem. Anyway, let's start with the profile. That music. Where did you really hear that music from? Doesn't it sound similar to something you would sound in an ordinary game? Or what about Diddy Kong Racing? It kind of sounds like Diddy Kong Racing. So they just took the music, I think, I'm not sure. They took the music from Diddy Kong Racing and just put a moon and a castle. How creative, guys. You really aced it there. Anyway, let's play the game. Well, we'll just play as Harry Potter. So anyway, let's start on level one. I mean, this can't be that bad, right? Level one can't be that bad. I'm, I, in fact, I, I'm 100% sure. I'm convinced that level one is very good. A continue. Okay, so here we are. The C button to do this. 
And it's already uncontrollable. It's already uncontrollable. How do you expect me to play this? I mean, seriously. And uh, I hate to bring up the graphics, but the graphics don't even look good. The Wii graphics had some pretty decent graphics, but this is just horrible. Oh my, this is horrible. Horrible. Okay, so I can't even get through the first ring. Which, how am I supposed to game, play the game if I can't even get through the first ring? I mean, why don't you give the player some sort of tutorial or something? Like a guided tutorial. Give them the option and say yes, no, yes, no, whatever. I know we have a manual, but the manual, if, most chances are you're going to be buying this on clearance. How do you expect this to work? How do you expect people to find out if, um, for themselves if there's no manual? Plus, no one plays this game, guys. So, really, and the people who do play probably will agree with me. It's god-awful. <sighs> Dear God, why? Why did you allow this game to be made on the face of Earth? Anyway... Oh my god. Okay, so I'm not going to give you guys an entire thing on how this game is horrible and I can't even control it. Like, I'm moving around. I'm moving around. How come you won't go there? Oh my god. But overall, I would have to give Billy the Wizard Broomstick Racing a 1 out of 10. The game has no so, sort of soul... But the reason why it got a 1 out of 10 was, well, it got a 1 because of cre creativity. It got, it didn't get a 10 or a 9 or even a 6, which even a 6 is pretty bad. But, um, because it has no soul, it has no personality, the, the game, how do you, also, might I add one more thing. It's multiplayer. How do you play a game like this, multiplayer? It's impossible. You don't play a game that's this bad with controls, multiplayer, but whatever. Overall, don't buy this game. It's a waste of your time. If, uh, don't, and parents, don't waste your grandpa's money or your father's money on such a worthless product. This is Dragon City Dude 101 signing out. Have a wonderful day, guys, and as always, peace. God bless.